predominantly there are two types of pancreatitis one is acute pancreatitis second is a chronic pancreatitis but for practical purposes we need to define pancreatitis into four types one is an acute pancreatitis second is acute on chronic type of pancreatitis third is acute recurrent pancreatitis and fourth is chronic pancreatitis what are the common causes of acute pancreatitis the commonest cause is gallstone alcohol but there are other causes as well which affect the pancreas pancreas and cause acute pancreas like drugs pancreas division abnormal uh, origin of pancreatic duct because of embryological defect in the fusion of dorsal and ventral duct we call it as pancreas division genetic or hereditary pancreatitis hypertriglyceridemia where the cholesterol or where the triglycerides are abnormally high more than 1000 mg percent can cause acute pancreatitis autoimmune pancreatitis there can be drug induced acute pancreatitis there can be calcium high levels can also cause pancreatitis we call it as hypercalcemia induced acute pancreatitis some rare causes are there like trauma or uh, sometimes post operative pancreatitis other common causes are viral mumps or any other viral infection or bacterial infection can sometimes cause pancreatitis so there are many causes of acute pancreatitis as a clinician we are supposed to diagnose it the etiology of a pancreatitis or causative factor for the acute pancreatitis so that the chances of recurrent acute pancreatitis can be avoided one more reason of acute pancreatitis is a worm infestation which can present with acute recurrent pancreatitis apart from gallstone pancreas division and uh, hereditary pancreatitis or trauma worm infestation and drug induced and autoimmune pancreatitis are few other causes where the patient can present with acute recurrent i would discuss more today about acute pancreatitis in acute pancreatitis there are the usually the severity of acute pancreatitis is decided by many clinical scores we call it as apache score or ransen score or atlanta classification all these scores are very important to diagnose acute versus severe but for those who want to know what exactly is the damage or what is the severity of an acute pancreatitis we usually can for a layman we can say that acute pancreatitis have two types of presentation 80% of them have mild pancreatitis and around 20% of them have severe pancreatitis now what about the mortality or death rate in terms of acute pancreatitis of approximately 20% patients have mortality and those patients who have a severe pancreatitis of them 30% have mortality rate so it's basically sometimes the acute pancreatitis can be life threatening can put you directly into icu with intensive care requirements wherein you have to put the patients on ventilator and other supportive nutritional support along with the vasopressors and all necessitating admission directly into the icu especially in patients who have severe pancreatitis those who have mild pancreatitis they get treated with uh, oral medications and keeping the patients on liquid or needle by mouth and antibiotics and treating the cause of the acute pancreatitis